Hello everybody, welcome to Body Slam Pro Wrestling for another lockdown look back. I am the mastermind Ollie Spring and today we are taking you all the way back to February 2019. We have Tank taking on Emeritus. And you see Peter Alessandro in the corner of his man, ever present at ringside. But there on display is the power of Tank and Emeritus backing off there you can see he's uh, he's rumbled right now this isn't a tag team match he's not in there with uh, with his leader and Peter Alessandro while he's at ringside he, he's unable to make a tag he's essentially stuck in there with Tank right now and Tank is well and truly in control yeah. 2019 and then on to, to 2020 really was the uh, a crowning time for Emeritus. Really came out of his shell, grew as a performer and got some big wins under his belt. And this would definitely count as a, a huge win if he's able to, to beat Tank. Tank the inaugural Body Slam Heavyweight Champion. Winning that title in the first ever Ecstasy of Gold Tournament. That was all the way back in 2016 if my, uh, if my notes are right. You just see right there, just that fluid mat wrestling. You want to take Tank on a technicality. You're going to be coming up on a losing effort. He's going to try for that armbar. Just that slight ring positioning, slightly off. The feet were on the ropes. And that was a saving grace for Emeritus right there. See, Tank gave him a second. Sportsman light was there. The sportsman, sportsmanship, the conduct was there. But sooner or later, Tank knows he's got a job to get done. Off the ropes, went for a hip toss, blocked twice by Emeritus and taken for right again, looking for that armbar. Again, looking to lock it in. Oh, but you, and you see there, Alessandra not directly getting involved, but he was pushing the ropes, it was closer to the feet. He was assisting his, uh, his team man there, giving Emeritus the chance to. Uh, to make the rope break, oh, he's got, he's got the kendo stick. Referee Christian's going to have to get involved right now. Oh, but while the referee's got his back turned, oh, in comes Alessandro with a shot to the back, but that had absolutely zero effect on Tank. Oh, but wait, 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 and now it's Tank with his back turned. Turns into a corkscrew clothesline. And an arm breaker. And notice, folks, it's going to be very hard for Tank to lock in that arm bar if he hasn't got any power in that arm. If he's struggling to get a grip, he's going to struggle to get a grip on your arm and pull it out of its socket. Now an arm bar using that chin for extra torque. I think Emeritus has found himself a tactic. Oh, now fish hooking. Fish hooking the jaw. And a knee drop to that hand as well. Emeritus now has himself a tactic, folks, and you know he's going to go after those arms like a shark after blood in the water. Big forearm. And another. And it's thanks to Peter Alessandro on the outside. And those distraction techniques that Emeritus is in the driver's seat right now. Boot up though from Tank. Oh, and a big clothesline from Tank. That explosive out of the corner. Picks him up. Scoop slam. It looks like, it looks like Tank's heading to the outside. This isn't somewhere we see Tank go often. But you know he's serious when he goes up to the top rope, folks. Huge elbow drop from the heavens. Into the pin. Kick out at two though. 
It's not very often you see a tank fly. That's something you get here at Body Slam, folks. Irish whip. Sends Emeritus into the corner, but out of the way. And Tank comes rushing in. Catches nothing but turnbuckle. But he helps Emeritus to the outside. Blocks the shot. Oh, and again, working on that arm. Ends in queuing to the side of the head as well. Just helps tank up to his feet. Oh, shoulder first. Shoulder first into that turnbuckle. That's solid steel, folks. And again, now with the referee's back turned. Emirates is claiming that that top rope is loose. And using the referee while his back's turned, Peter Alessandro's getting involved. And again, going back to work on that arm. Again, just ringing that arm around the rope, using the, uh, the ring environment to his advantage. And again, Peter Alessander coming in and choking Tank while the referee has his back turned. And Meritus using the tactic of distracting the referee while, the, while the, the hound dog on the outside is coming in to do more damage. I don't know where this is going. Oh, and another stomp right to the tricep area now. I mean, this is this is a medical dissection of that arm of Tank. Emeritus knows exactly what he's doing right now, working on the forearm, the tricep, the bicep, the shoulder joint and the wrist. It's all, all in, in, in a lot of pain right now if you're Tank. You just see Tank barely able to fight out of these mounted punches. The inaugural Body Slam Heavyweight Champion is struggling right now, folks, and that is thanks to the distractions and the interference from Peter Alessandro on the outside. This is essentially a handicap match now. <laughs> now looking for the uh, Fujiwara armbar of his own. Emeritus is not known for using those arm bars, but still, he has the audacity to try and beat Tank with one of his own moves in, in his own style, if you will. Big boot to the side of the head. Irish whip into the corner, he comes back out. Just get, gets bull rush back into it a second time. Big roundhouse kick. Emeritus down in that corner, but Tank's not done with him. Picks him up, could be looking for a running power slam, but you see the arm causing him problems. Ducks under as a kick. Going for a choke slam. Is he going to be able to do this? Has he got the strength in that arm to pull off a choke slam? Yeah, no. This is the thing, Emeritus has done his homework. He knows exactly what, uh, what attacks Tank has got and is likely to throw at him. Oh, big knee. Concussion knee right to the side of the head of Tank. Tank's just about up to his feet on the outside. But he's groggy right now, folks. He's eating up some of them shots from Emeritus. He's looking to bring him in. Wait, wait, wait. Tank looking to suplex him to the outside. That would be match over right there, folks. Oh, he's looking to get back in, but Alessandra providing another distraction. He turns around, oh, into the boot from Emeritus. And he's got him hooked right now. I think we're going to see ourselves a hangman DDT. You again using those ring ropes for extra leverage. 
Leg hook, one, two. Kick out at two from Tank. It was late, but it still counts. He's still in this one, folks. <laughs> Tank is struggling. It's not very often we see him look this vulnerable, but as I say, the tactics from Emeritus and from Alessandra have worked wonders right now and now locking in the sleeper. Again, Emeritus senses that the, the tank is emptying, pun fully intended, and the tank's energy levels are dropping. So now to finish him off, he's looking to completely empty him of all oxygen, leave him with absolutely nothing left to fight. If this arm drops a third time, but no, tank says not today, still going. Backs him into one corner. Backs him in a second time. Emeritus is holding on. Oh, but wait, wait, wait. Tank's got him caught. Running power slam. Shades of the British Bulldog. One, two. Oh, but come on. That's a three count right there. That's a three count right there. And Emeritus just grabbing the referee, pulling him out of the ring. I mean, that's a disqualification if you ask me, but then I don't know if the referees if he even really knows where he is right now. We have another referee coming out to check on him. Oh, now the kendo stick in the ring. As is Olisander. Oh, come on. Curb stomp from Olisander. Interference from the weapon. Interference from Olisander with the curb stomp. And now Olisander assisting the referee back into the ring. Referee just trying to do his job. One, two. No, Tank's still in it. Tank is still in this, folks. It helped that the referee was still recovering. The count was slightly slower, but it gave Tank just enough time to get that shoulder up. And Tank, the inaugural Body Slam Heavyweight Champion, is still in this, folks. Has he got enough left in his tank to finish this one off? We're getting well into the end game right now. And you see them going back and forth with these huge, huge punches. Oh, but come on again, another shortcut from Emeritus, raking at the eyes. Rapid fire strikes and a forearm to boot. Head of steam, but Tank saw him coming up to the outside. Off the ropes, big boot from Tank. Big boot from Tank, and that is Emeritus on the floor. Alessandra again, scoping him out, keeping an eye on his man. The referees got the count going. Alessandra looks like he wants to take Emeritus out of this. Is Tank going to win this on a count out? Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's Michael Finn, there's Toby Zane. Look like Xander as well. Randers Payne coming out. And it looks like the numbers advantage has been leveled. Tank brings in Alessander. And he sees Xander and Adonis, collectively known as Randers Payne. We see Toby Zane and we see Michael Finn. The locker room coming out to the aid of Tank. Look at this, Tank picks up Alessandra and launches him to the outside, clears the field. Oh, Captain Body Slam's in there as well. And I think that was more Tank's way of taking out the trash. I'm sure he's grateful for the help from Finn and, and Randers Payne. Oh, look at this. Michael Madsen getting his hands on Emeritus. Sends Emeritus back in. There's some interference that we're not going to complain about. Go on, Michael. And now, finally, Emeritus is in there all alone with Tank. He's got him goozled. Can he hit the choke slam? Picks him up. Choke slam in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. And Tank gets the victory, but only just.
Folks, that has been another lockdown look back for Body Slam Pro Wrestling. I have been the mastermind Ollie Spring. Please keep an eye out on all social media for Body Slam because we will be back.